Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I'll discuss to you on how to implement a simple list to our Flutter project. So let's start. Okay, so in a container, we'll be creating or we'll be uh, calling the property child. And then we'll be implementing this view that builder constructor and then item builder and then open close parenthesis open close brace and then inside of the item builder we have the context gamma we have the index so we created an empty list view dot builder so in this tutorial we'll be creating a list of car brands in the philippines so i have here the list of the car brands in the philippines so we have the toyota mitsubishi honda ford Hyundai, and so on and so forth so we'll be creating a list to the different car brands here in the Philippines. So to do that, we'll be defining a list. Then we'll be naming it to car brands. And then equal sign square bracket. So inside of the square bracket will be the uh, listing the different car brands. Like for example, we have the Toyota. Okay, based on our list, so we have the Mitsubishi, Mitsubishi, we have the Nissan, we have the Ford, uh, we have the Hyundai, We also have the Isuzu. 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 We also have the Kia. So that's it. We'll be adding the other brands later on. So in our item builder, we will return a list style widget. So return this style open close we have the title property and then text and then inside of the text widget parameter we will specify the car brands then specify the index we'll be using this one index okay and then do not forget to end with semicolon so we have a this here so next thing is we need to specify the item count so that the this view builder will determine when it will end the loop so car brands that so at least have a property of length to count the number of items inside of the thing so in our list we have one two three four five six and seven then let us save this or then let us save our application then let us check the output so as you can see the list of car or the list of car brands is displayed in our application using a list view so we will add the remaining brands so we have the Kia as the last item and then we have the Mazda 
that's that. We also have Suzuki. Suzuki. Tama. Subaru. Then Chevrolet. Chevrolet. Next is the BMW. And then we also have the Mercedes Benz, Audi, and Jeep. Mercedes. Audi and Jeep. So let us try our application first. Then, so let us rerun our application. So, as you can see, all the car brands is listed for our list view. So the purpose of the list view that builder constructor, it creates a linear list of widgets. So in here, the widget use is the list style. Okay. So in our list style widget, we also have a property which is the leading property. So in the leading property, for example, you can add an icon before the title. So for example, icon, icons that, for example, be using the favorite icon. Okay, so let us try to save our application by pressing the hot reload. So as you can see, it displays an icon before the item or before the item. Okay, we also have a trailing property that displays an icon at the end of the item. For example, trailing, then icon. Then icons that uh, more vertical. Okay, so then control S. And the output is so we have the favorite icon as the leading. The title is the Toyota. And we also have a, an icon here, the more vertical as the trailing property. So, the use of the trailing property usually, if you want to implement an option, once the user clicks on this link, it will provide an option, for example, delete, edit, okay, or hide, or mark as favorite, so you can do, you can do that later on, okay. So, next we will add an on top property of the list style, so that when the user clicks on this item, it will provide an uh, information about that item or once the user clicks on this item it will show a snack bar at the bottom of our screen so let us do that by adding an on top property of the on top property of the this time okay so in here we'll be showing a snack bar so we'll be defining a variable final snack bar is equal to snack bar the content is for example will be displaying the car brands once the user clicks on the 
item or the brand of the car and then semicolon then to show the snack bar we'll be using or we'll be calling the scaffold dot of context dot show snack bar and then snack bar then semicolon okay let's save our project then click on the item for example the toyota then as you can see it shows a snack bar at the bottom of our screen uh, for example zuki so it shows a snack bar then Chevrolet okay so you can also change the color of the snack bar for example comma background color dot blue blue accent control s and then click on this item for example Kia so it shows snack bar at the bottom of our screen so in this video tutorial we cover the, the following widgets we have the list view that builder constructor we also define a list here the list of car brands we also use the list style to display the different items on the list and we also cover the snack bar so how to define a snack bar and how to display the snack bar okay that's it thank you for watching i hope you learned something on this video tutorial see you on our next videos god bless